Quoi? <rire> ah, OK. Yeah, sure. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Yep. Yeah. I love who loves. Someone can't, someone says they can't hear. Martin says he can't hear. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead. Awesome. I can see it now. Thank you. Yeah, it's up now. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. no one. Ruth three. Um, you know, just messing around with the, the diagonals. Everything seems to be okay. I liked it. Um, question about if I'm working on the beard at the bottom, how would I show the neck? Well, the dominant vertical. Oh, okay, right there. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. What I see now is the cheeks are in different on different um, height. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so Victor, all the rectangles which we see in this, these are root three. <laughs> So the one around the lips, that, that's a root tree, right? Is that a root tree? Okay, okay. Okay. I 
I understand. I understand. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, this one has it has you know more. Uh, it's more energized because of the sharpness of the features, especially on the left cheek. But um, it's a different. It's a different feeling. A different image. Yeah, and and in this one, the the beard concept. You know, the way it's set up now doesn't work as well as the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a dunce hat. Okay. No, it's it's a distraction. Well, I think that's that's the the rough. <laughs> mm. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I just went back to basics and I started, you know, in the square and you can see that because I wanted to tell you that was the easiest way to do it. Okay. Two. <laughs> Scared. Yeah. Fuck. Yes, it is. Well, this 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 one right here was done like probably like after it was done after this one. This is like an earlier piece. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, all right.
Um, I, I think I like the last one, uh, the one on the on the rightmost. Yes, that one. Um, I, I think the ears, the nose, uh, and the lips. It look more in line or in proportion to me in that. Um, even I think the beard fits nicely. That's the, that's the one I like. Um, I don't think I, I have the capability to kind of tell you what more can be improved in this. I'm just looking at them and just telling you which one looks best to me. Is the last one of uh, five? five? Okay, okay. Yeah, it looks it, it looks very balanced and proportional to me in that one. And I think I, I get that arc and that uh, arc, I think it adds a very nice touch. Um, uh, I like parts and pieces of all three. Um, I like the eyes in the first one the lips in the second one and then the complete structure of the third one I like how it's all it, it, it looks like it fits more into the grid um yeah but I know ultimately it's gonna have to be Bill's choice you know I mean what what is you know what do you what do you want Bill which one do you like Bill <laughs> Well, you know, I like to say this parts of all that look good. I like the face in the last one the best, but it doesn't work with the beard. Unless. Oh. Victor. Got the beard down. Yeah, why don't we do the same thing on the last one we did on the first one with the beard? Just do it vertically and not trying to make it a, di uh, uh, yeah. a diagonal. I also agree. Mm-hmm. Wider? Well, that, that, if you go with the, the, the cheek, the cheek line there, no, next to the ear. Right, try that line going down. It, yeah, it parallels it, yeah. To the ear. I'll bring it up into the back of the ear, maybe. Yeah, that that works because it goes with the uh, the uh, yeah. Okay, that's one aspect of it, how we saw that one. And now the cheek, you say, should be extended, the left to right cheek. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it, it, that's true. I mean, we all know that. So, so that that'll work. 
Yeah, man, I'm, I'm offended, man. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that'll work then. Thank you. So I would also play, I like also the right one, the third one. Uh, except of the cheek, I would like to add that I love I love the skull of the middle one. Like you can see, like the head is dressed on the head, and it's not cut out. Yeah, you're right. It looks. It has a better feeling to it. It's uh, more natural, like you, in the middle you can see the whole skull, even uh, the round uh, at the uh, top. Looks very like, even it's a little bit here at the end. The second is like cut out from the head. And on the right side, the third one, she doesn't have the forehead. So that's the problem I had with, with the, the, the skull around the ear. Mm -hmm. Either I, could cut, cut, I could cut some of the ear off. Yeah. You know, and thereby make it similar to the, to the one to the, to the left of it or to the right of it. Right, I can feel you. Mm. Hmm. Now this well, one is okay. On the right one is cut out, like for no forehead, like she gets I've. Yeah, this this line finishes the whole skull. Okay.
Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's 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 the the juice of it. Right. Frasian. <laughs> Move on. Thank you. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll develop them. Yeah, we'll, we'll develop them and see what happens. It, it's it's a singular piece as opposed to the others seem to be connected by different parts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, that's the vision center. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not. Huh. Yeah, sure. Over there. Got a show. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be cutting. <laughs> No, I just applied uh, this paper, tr trans blah 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 paper on the painting. Yeah, tra tracing papers. <laughs> so you could see the change. If it's not necessary, then drop it. Yeah, vertical. Hmm? No, 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 no. This one was first, yes. And then tracing paper, and then tracing paper by itself. No, 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 no. This is the second. No. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. It looks better here on Photoshop than on the paper. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> By the way, the first one doesn't look that bad because the main idea was in wings. Because they hide, they turn into a bat. And that um, horn. Of course, I even read it. <laughs> Everybody heard that. Happy ending? 
Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what would they show to children like he dies? Almost. Mm -hmm. No, he transformed into dust. Like somebody, yeah, th like they saw two, two, two dead bodies, like one uh, hugging another, very, very like strong. And when they wanted to take the woman away, it just fell apart like dust. Yeah, true, they would not show this to children. That's called composition, they change something, right? <laughs> <laughs> The idea, the concept is that the hunchback has wings inside, so the motion is not outside of him, but must be uh, inside, like uh, the wings are hiding in his back, so, and I wanted to show the process, how they are closing inside and turn into this person. It's intuitively, <laughs> like I was focused mainly on wings, and I didn't make, I didn't, uh, I was not intended to point hands, legs, or whatever, I would even lose them, like I would paint a shape of something, like a shape of the person, right, but wings people would see, and would see like um, the angel, the body itself transparent, and then, they would see the the dark object and in person, which is the result of transformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the diagonal one, the second one. No, <laughs> uh, and is that what you mean by when you say that the overall design has to work rather than one component of it? Okay, I get it, yeah.
it more it shows more action let's say like they fly inside instead of falling Oh, there's definitely a thrust. I mean, it, like you said, there's still not a complete story. Like, you don't, you're not sure if it's going out or in, but something's happening. Like, there's movement going on. Well, the first one, it was kind of, like you said, there's no... Well, it, it's still left up in the air, quite literally. <laughs> but the second one, I liked, even when you first brought it up, my attention just went straight to that. You know, like, that was boom. That's when you start hitting Anna right there. Bam. Here I wanted to concentrate the attention of the viewer on his uh, on his back actually, and to show that the notion goes inside of his back and it's important. For and then uh, I also used um, horizontals and verticals, so I changed his ha his uh, hand, uh, so he's not. It's more like it gives us horizontal line. Um, whatever. Now I wanted to repeat, like, to show the triangle, uh, which forms also his um, wings. Yeah. Yeah, but um, this is strange where they open up. Like, they have to close. This is doubtful. Well, I think that the, the image on the left, I think that's definitely, it shows action. But then it, what it does for me also, it shows that you have two images that are like dive bombing. Then you have one that's hovering and has to break the, the fall because he's going so fast. If you hit the man, you probably drive him into the ground. So I like that, and I, I like that it's that dominant vertical thing. As Morton says, it really shows action. And it's uh, it gets right to the point. It you know it's it's um, I, I like your your transcendent idea, uh, and it's very nice. I, I like that. Thank you. Mm hmm. Mm. So, here I think maybe it will help also to, to show, to open the story if I will add him some kind of um, wings on his back. Or, or I will drop some feathers on his back or near him.
So can I ask a question, Anna? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The last one that Victor has on the right, what 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 message are you can I mean what how are you saying your message with that image? Like they are more straightforward for towards him. And then I thought that why would the last one, like let's say the lowest angel, open his wings um, when he's going like inside of him, like stopping the motion, like it, it, like open wings for the bird is like stop, they just stop it. See, like the one before that, see th this one here, you have, that I can, that I can pick up, you have two angels. It actually must be the one angel that is in the, like, so I would say that I would make, uh, go with, use tones to show that it's a one, but it goes brighter, 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 and goes into the darkest tone. Like, with colors, I would use also the, with tones values, I would also use the, the sense of action also from low from like from lightest to darkest. Right, but 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 right now we just have we just have the composition. Right. <laughs> and so and so what I what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to get across is like for me, the one before this conveyed it has had meaning and I could I could understand what you were saying. This one here, it seems like there's some type of stylized knife or something just drilling into the guy's back. Yeah, because I really can't, I really can't, I can't distinguish that as being that angel that was that was holding ground and the one before. It, it made. Now, is it? Uh, I think so. Yeah, one before. Well, this is one of them. But see how the, 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 the image on the left, the angel's pausing. You can, I can identify, I can say, oh, that's an angel. Look how he's coming down. He's coming down real fast. Then he floats over. He hovers over this guy. And I said, oh, I, I see. I don't want him to stop over him. I want him to go inside. Oh, okay.
-hmm. What if I will turn them around, like one will look to the right side, left side, right side, and Okay. Do you record this? No. Okay. I hope I will refer it, or I should uh, make notes later. Right, because that way you could, you could go back up again to the top. Victor, is this similar to doing the leaves on the vine? I mean, it's, it's, it's a way of visual, visually seeing it because those little the wings are like are like leaves on the vine. The vine is the arabesque. Yeah.
Okay, I was actually, I taken his, uh, let's say, be belly or uh, his uh, leg curve. I was uh, even wrote it on the hun hunchback. You can you can see it. I made it already. Like his head, uh, hand, and his leg with the S. So and it was repeated in each an angle, angel, ah, in each angel. So you could see that they are repeating and they are the one. Otherwise, they are confronting. I, I need to um, be friends more with him. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, but no. Like what we did on the first video that we did with fighters, and I was present there, it's important which side the curve is. When the side is backwards, like leaning to the star, then all the all action goes up. And when the curve goes down, like, yeah, like this, then... Like the light goes, like you, you make the can, I don't know, like uh, how you paint, like then they go down, like the sand. It gives them the different feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's easier to make an angel like escaping from the body and goes upside. Nobody did. I I have never seen. I should probably check also any artist maybe famous or non-famous, who already m met that issue or that, the, that problem, when somebody wants to put an angel inside the person and not make angels escape the body. <laughs> now, now well. Victor, Victor, like, when she... Right now she's on the diagonal, and that's creating a very, for me, a very uh, masculine energy. Whereas if you do the arabesque, then it becomes more feminine. Right.
Yeah, exactly. Thirsty. Sure. <laughs> they would go to like uh, ghost, not ghost, spirit. From spirit to person, more, right. and, more and meat see, and bones. In the classical sense, that's what you're doing with the arabesque. It's coming from the spiritual, you know, the heavenly to the earthly. Well, Yeah, the question also, I didn't think about the base yet. So maybe it, the base behind, like behind angels, maybe I would use this arabesque of, with the base foreground. Base, <laughs> I, my, my English is so poor. So like, um, what would I, I'm very concentrated on angels themselves, so I don't see, I didn't make any earth here. No, no, I, I, I don't know whether it would be a forest or you know, sky and earth or whatever. So. Yeah, but it would, no, it will matter because it holds also the composition itself. It must also help to read. Like what I see is uh, because it's very hard now to express all the idea in in um, in objects and subjects. But what I see is that I should use also the base. Yeah, how it's called? <laughs> the background. Yeah, the background. <laughs> the background. I could use the background to help me to show. What's No. My my daughter woke up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I would ask you for understanding. My daughter is ill, and I have to put her again to bed. So, if we are <laughs> to bed, sure. And I think I'm I'm not sure. Should I come back, or it's over, or what? Okay, then just don't turn me turn me off. I will just put my headphones over here. I will come back. I will knock. Thank you. Um, I'm just speechless. I I think uh, I I love this. I love her idea. I mean, it's 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 really beautiful. And I, I've been just listening quietly to the arabesque and all those kind of things. So, um, y you know, there are very small pieces in every art, and I think sometimes we kind of maybe notice them subtly. But I'm beginning to realize how much they matter as to what we see and how it looks. Yeah, but but I think but I think Anna's idea is awesome. I mean, uh, it's it's a very beautiful piece. Uh, 
Um, I saw a picture of um, some kind of a rocket launch a few days back and an piece kind of reminded me of that. So it had that this you know big curve of the rocket which is coming down and <coughs> I'll send the picture to you Victor and it comes down and it hits, hits the ground and it, there's four, four points of light which are radiating. Um, so her piece just reminded me of that that picture because I, I don't I don't draw so much but I look at photographs and things like that so uh, it, it's almost like a like a big curve yeah from from the back it, the picture had depth so from the back there's a big curve which is coming down on the front yeah yeah something like that it hits the ground yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because in, in Anna's piece, maybe maybe the the uh, instead of having those real hard uh, diagonals, you could have radiating points of showing that he's he's been energized. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, but I really like a concept of, you know, a uh, kind of uh, contrast between angel and something which is turning it into a hunchback. It's, it's very interesting. Well, that's that's why he has a hunch back. Yeah. Right. I think you got the wrong one up, though. <laughs> nice, nice. Good stuff. Oh yeah, that was totally different. <laughs> yeah, you, you took it out there, Martin. You took it out. Yeah, that line layer, man. I was just sitting there looking. I'm like, how am I going to do this? And I just waited till the end of the week. I said, you know what? All right, fine. Let's just do it. Uh, no, that's tight. That's that's in Photoshop. <laughs> okay, so uh, like I said, I, I waited to the last moment to to go ahead and do these because I I was trying to figure out how how am I gonna tell a, a, a story around having the headphones on. And to me, it was very, you know, to me, when I have my headphones on, it's very, you know, it's very sacred. There's just music that just captures me. So I was looking at a pictures of uh, cathedrals and corridors. So I said, you know what, let me add that to the background and then just compose it from there. And then I went to the, the repeating lines. 
And I started out, yeah, that one. Just kind of just getting the basics in there, just getting the pillars in there, and then looking at the main arches, and then just bringing it down because he's looking down like it's down from the heart. You know, it's like a, it's getting very soulful. So what I wanted to do is bring his attention coming down. So I just brought all my lines repeating towards down to his face and then down toward, I mean, even his shirt is going down and everything just kind of going down that way. Um, then on the second one, radiating lines, I made my focal point right at the center at the bottom, like right below his chin and just basically through all my lines, focusing back onto that point. Um, but then I forgot there was my vertical wasn't there, so I added inside the pillars something a vertical line just to give it, you know, tie it back in. And then on the last one, the resonating lines, um, I decided to go with the angles, the on the pillars and on the ceiling and then keep him very straight and boxed out so I think I did a good job I was fearing to critique a little bit <laughs> well you know nice work my, my overall feeling is that I don't see things going down I see them Resonating from the from the chest up. I mean, I, I just see. I mean, for me, it's like this energy is expanding from the chest, expanding from the back of the head, you know, going up into the head. That's what I see. I I, I don't see things coming down. I see them going up. Yeah. No. What I was figuring too is like I'm still not even at that the last layer and once the last layer in I can bring in the gradients and start you know saying tying them in to bring them down because on, on the re on the repeating lines you can see I was trying to make it like the lights coming from his heart up but you can't tell by that by just seeing the lines it's gonna either gonna be coming in or, or out but still you know you can't see that quite yet I didn't want to I didn't want to I didn't want to bring too much shading or any of that in yet because it's still, you know, still the line layer, so. Um. No, I, I, I like all of them. I, th I think it's very beautiful. I think the one which is striking to me most is the lower center one. I'm not so yeah that one i'm not so much able to yeah but i i would agree with bill that it's looking more like going from down to up it's almost like a halo around his head that's what i'm saying in that one uh the other ones i think they're looking a little bit more static to me like there's a little bit more uh, uh, not 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 very dynamic like the, the more what, what should i say Maybe more horizontal and vertical types. Yeah. Did he has he written something under those? I'm not able to see the ones on the bottom. Okay. I see, I see. From one point, okay. So, so Victor, if I might ask, how is the resonating lines different from the repeating ones? Okay. 
I see, I see. Yeah, cause, well, I'm still sticking to that one. That's my story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well you know if you do that victory it, it has a different um it conveys a different message yeah well if you look to the one to the left of that one you reduce it's like a sense of being is it bliss it's, it's mm -hmm. really a supreme feeling and if you reduce that, it's he hasn't got to that point yet. Yeah, he's like contemplating, am I there or am I not? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, he's waiting for something to happen. But and the other one, he's already, yeah, he's already there.
What if we take? What if we cut the diagonal just a little bit? Or the vertical. Yeah, the vertical on the original. Maybe by half. Oh, uh, zoom into the mouth. Yeah, on each side, that little. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because that was that was on that radio radiating so like it just looked funny. <laughs> But you know, when you showed me the 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 eclipses, that's when I was like, "Oh, that's you know, that's what gave me the idea of the cathedral as well, because it's you know, it's resonating, you know, like there's there's vibration." So that's I, that's where my challenge was for the line is like, okay, how do I still convey that, but through line? But if, even the way you have it now, there's still a difference, mm -hmm. and the way you have it now is. Maybe perhaps more of a reverence, a more of a um, uh, pensive connectivity. Yeah. So the other one is like, you know, he's like, it's it's more, uh, you know, like it's more like uh, public. You know, it's more like it's, it's not sacred. Uh huh. Yeah. And I think that's when I get to the curve layer, it's going to really, I mean, it, it, that's just what Victor showed me before. It just started popping, making sense to me as far as what, what my story is behind it. Because the line, I mean, it, it it was tough, but it was, it was, it was fun to do. It, it's showing me different things. Yeah, it's all together. Bing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. I looked. I was like, oh, I missed. Like something changed. Yeah, I even like the one that was in the radiating lines, the one that had the diagonal going down. Yeah. They're going up. <laughs> That's the uh, that, that's the deco look. Our deco is an art deco based upon radiation. Yeah, if you look, if you look at the if the, the piece, it always seems like it fans out from the center.
Yeah, it's like that, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. yeah. Yeah, that's like <laughs> they are the mutos. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so Victor... Is, is there any significant difference? We spoke. I spoke before about about two dimensional, three dimensional composition. Is there any difference in that when we use the grids? No, you got it. That's, yeah, it's, it's more, you know, like you say, when you're at the coffee shop, you're just in that. You got the headphones on, ain't <laughs>
Oh yeah, right. And in a way, that's what Anna was saying about how uh, she calls the uh, the bass, the background. Well, because you know, assuming the composition's tight, you know, now she has a background. So I, I think that's what I've heard her think, trying to think that you can invite people in. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. So, a two-dimensional piece is a voyeur piece. If you take the background away, it will not be inviting us. Carl Va, C A V A G G I O. Yeah. Okay. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Get close to God. So now this this is more like humanism, would you say? Well, I mean, it's just a word. I mean, you know, like because you, yeah, I know. What I'm not referring that out. Just saying, this is more humanism, where people now are encouraged to get into the work and into the to be more human. That not some guy on top that we can't talk to.
Oh, okay. So, so that that was the the justification or the need for three dimensional work. I would say a movement because they're trying to bring people into the church. You know, whereas, like you said before, people are just kind of observing, like, "Oh, you're you're you're." kicking dirt, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. P-R-O-D-I-C-A-L. Yeah, D-I-C-A-L. Okay, that being the case, that ties back to our to composers because if they consciously compose it that way, then you're you're trying to give a strong suggestion. You're suggesting to the viewer that's where he should be, if not physically, psychologically. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, yes, I think I could do that. <laughs> um, I, I think Victor, I'll I'll get some infographic. I had uh, I had talked about it last time. I think I just need to get that ready. I'll get infographic. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you want me to do? Okay. Yeah, that's just from the, the tracing paper. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, Joe, got that right.
Okay. Now, this is recording, right? Okay, because I, I couldn't take a screenshot. It won't let me do that. Thanks. Mm, sure. Yeah, curve there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a great example. <laughs> wow, look at that. Okay, that's meat is still with us though, right? And I thought there was Anna just got back here. I saw her face. Right, okay. Okay, great. Sweet. Hey, Oops. fantastic. Looking forward to seeing the work next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks, Victor. Thanks for including me. Uh, and thank you bye. very much for showing me all the beautiful work. Thanks, bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Victor. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs>